What's up, nation? We've got an all-new agent here in Battle Prime released in the 6.0 update, and that is Glitch. We're going to take a look at what you get with Glitch when you unlock her, being the newest Prime to the game. Of course, we've got a bit that we'll continue to learn about her, but you get a chance to see her in action right now. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get all the notifications of when more Battle Prime content drops. Again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're looking to support the channel, head down below in the description of the video and you can find out all the ways in which you can do so. Enjoy it. I'll catch you next time. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Glitch here, which uh, you can speed up your access to getting Glitch by spending a thousand Prime Coin, but we'll show you later exactly where Glitch is available to receive for free. And we're going to look at a breakdown of what Glitch offers uh, and also do some weapon comparison to what she has with this sniper and pistol combo. So here's your look at Glitch if you haven't had taken a chance to actually see her. She's got this very futuristic design to her. You can see that little panel on her arm, which is what she does the animation to actually create this clone or copy of herself. A number of different skins that are available that will be very similar to what most of the other agents have, but we'll look at skins later. What we really want to talk about is her ability. So Glitch has this shade shifter, aka this copy effect. Now, while playing is this copy, fully controllable copy of Glitch, full HP armor, you do also have the ability to capture objectives, get tags, but you deal reduced damage. I believe it's around 50% damage is what you actually deal. Now you can also teleport to this copy. Uh, what is really nice is that while you're playing this copy you will also be notified of damage your original takes and after your copy is destroyed, especially if it's killed, it'll also show the silhouette or the outline of the enemy that killed them. Now once this copy is done, because it is a time effect, you'll automatically go right back to your original uh, uh, glitch if you don't choose to actually teleport, press that ability a second time to teleport to your copy. So it's a nice way that it could maybe help you jump across the map if you just need to get out of a situation. Uh, but again, you'll see some gameplay where I use Glitch in a number of different ways from letting her clone get killed to also teleporting to it, using it to get some kills the whole nine yards. So let's go ahead and take a look at Glitch's weapons now. She does have the all new J28, uh, kind of, I think this is like a fully automatic sniper. I'd say it's pretty much there with like the MKE-14, the DMR-25, which allow you to just get that nice rapid fire. But we're gonna look at some of the stats compared to those. Now, I'm not gonna do a full stat breakdown here. We'll save that for some other just weapon overviews. But as far as a sniper goes, you'll notice that the damage, the control accuracy compared to the DMR-25 is lower so the dmr25 has better damage better control better accuracy but the j28's distance is a bit higher when compared to the tgt a pretty popular sniper right now you'll see that the tgt damage is definitely higher but the rate of fire was slower the mk14 pretty much better when it comes to damage control accuracy but yet again distance is shorter so it seems like the j28 when it comes to this more automatic sniper has the distance but the damage and control not as great the PDG, which is this automatic, fully automatic uh, handgun, uh, you'll see as far as stat-wise goes, it's going to be the, the fastest rate of fire in this category, uh, but damage is going to be a bit lower. And of course, remember, the big thing with the damage when it comes to these weapons is remember if you're playing as the clone, you're also getting reduced damage. So these weapons when playing as the clone aren't even as great as they could be even compared to the original here. But looking at this PDG compared to the G71, you can see rate of fire, control, it is better, but damage, the G71 is higher. Distance, the G71 is higher. Compared to the P1, again, damage, distance are higher here, but the PDG has that rate of fire. That's what it's really all about. PDG has the rate of fire, while the other weapons definitely do a higher damage. Uh, now, when playing with this, again, even if you swap out for some of these other weapons like the Hawk, the Oxen, Magnus, the Kruger, whatever it might be, remember that no matter what the weapon is, no matter what you put on Glitch, you're going to get reduced damage when you actually go out into those uh, battlefields. Now, other than spending a thousand Prime Coin to actually get Glitch, one other way that you can get Glitch for free is just by leveling up your uh, account to level 40 and you will get glitch for free. So she's totally available for free. I wouldn't encourage spending that thousand prime coin unless of course you just absolutely want to get your hands on her now. 
Uh, she's pretty fun, but let's actually take a look at Glitch in a few different, we'll play some TDM, some Skirmish, and you guys can get a chance to just see what Glitch can do. And uh, definitely let me know what you guys think, of course, of Glitch in the comments down below. I'm very eager to hear what the general community thinks of this all new Prime. But everybody, enjoy the next several minutes of some Glitch gameplay from the Super Test server. So here we'll kick it off with a bit of uh, TDM here on the Wasteland map, which I know many people aren't a big fan of it, but let's see what she can kind of do. Maybe the, I think, I honestly am going to say Glitch might actually be a pretty decent counter to some of the snipers that are out here that could potentially help you turn the tables in this. Uh, using this, again, J28, uh, definitely turning it up a little bit as that nice auto rifle and that PDG Double here, kill. not too bad for the close quarters. I honestly think that's probably going to be best. It does feel almost a little bit more like a, an SMG. And that J28, not honestly the best when it comes to damage. We already saw that in stats. It's got some lower damage. Uh, but I, I honestly would say I had some fun playing with it. Uh, the PDG actually felt pretty smooth. The accuracy really wasn't that bad. Of course, the damage is just what didn't do so well. Uh, and uh, we'll get an opportunity to just play with that clone here in a little bit. One thing I found really helpful once we kind of get ready to just swap out here is getting your clone in a pretty safe hiding spot. So that, I think that'll be what'll be interesting here is how players go about with this clone. You can see I've now duplicated out, so I, I've got more of that blue tint to me, is finding the right hiding place to ensure that your original Glitch Prime doesn't end up getting killed because if of course if you do then that's it you've got to respawn start all over but with this uh, now i've actually returned back you can see my prime has teleported to where i'm at i'm no longer blue in color so that is something that's pretty nice that just because w when this um when uh, when i'm working with this I, I press that ability that second time and it brought me to it and i'm not just respawning where i was at you'll see in a few later matches that when i do uh, actually die as my copy of glitch that i'll automatically return back here to my original glitch one but here yet again playing out is that copy come out here the damage it's going to take a little bit longer to get those kills just because remember i'm doing reduced damage uh, again don't quote me on this but i believe it's right around that 50 percent doing all right here uh, again taking that damage here from a couple different areas but we'll see now that that glitch is dead i return right back to my original glitch character and just resume right on with gameplay what's nice is what i think is actually pretty cool about this effect is that once you die you at least have an idea of like where these enemies are at uh, and I think that, again, can be a bit helpful, especially if you're going to try to flush out a camper, try to just draw their attention. You could use your clone to get in there, get behind them, try to at least draw their attention. I mean, if anything, of course, the other part that you can go with is once you find that camper, you could, of course, mark them with the tag, you know, draw attention to them. Uh, so there's a lot of different ways I think that you could end up using Glitch. And uh, here again, just running through, we'll continue with some more, uh, again, game modes and some matches where I will both let my Glitch character die, I'll teleport to Glitch, and you guys can get a chance to just see her use on a few different maps and a few different modes. Uh, again, eliminated here, returning right back to my original one. And you notice that I was even getting those signals of some damage uh, before I even fully teleported back. Uh, but again, let me know what you guys think of Glitch uh, after you see some of this gameplay in the comments below. Is she an agent that you think you'll probably end up trying to pick up and use? Uh, what do you think that you know some of the maybe pros or even the cons of using this character may be? Again, we'll hide out here in just another little spot and we'll bring that clone out in just a moment. Like I said, this will kind of be the most interesting part is this almost hide and seek aspect to it. Uh, almost perfect timing there and getting that clone out to actually save my original character life. But what do you guys really think will be the way in which you'll use Glitch if you choose to use her at all? And let me know in the comments below and enjoy the rest of this Glitch gameplay. Double kill. The battle simulation is almost over. Payback. Kingslayer. Triple kill. Four of a kind. 
A victory. Team Deathmatch mode. Kill enemies and earn points. Double kill. We got ahead. Double kill. Triple kill. Four of a kind. Final stage. The battle simulation is almost over. Kingslayer. Double kill. A victory. 
Now, coming into the skirmish round, this is where I think Glitch can have some unique, you know, real strong uses, I would say, is working through it, using, of course, that Glitch character. I have no idea where this guy just went. But using that extra Glitch character actually gives you almost a fourth player. So when you're using your ability, you actually have the opportunity to actually have a, like, a 4v3, just because... You know, hey, that glitch dies, you still have your original one. So we're actually going to check that out. You guys can see how I use that extra copy to help me kind of flush out, hey, where's that extra uh, enemy at in the skirmish round? Uh, and again, what I honestly felt while playing this is this almost feeling like it was actually a 4v3. Yet again, the unique part to the skirmish will be finding the right hiding place. And I might be giving them away already here uh, in this video gameplay, so we'll have to see where does everyone maybe choose to tuck their original. But using that uh, glitch copy, yet again, I've got this opportunity to go full on play uh, and really giving us that extra player here in a skirmish round. So again, definitely let me know what your thoughts. What do you think about glitches, functions, and use in something like skirmish? Yet again, put that down in the comments below, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Finish out watching this skirmish gameplay here with glitch, and I'll catch you all next time. Kingslayer. Enemy team eliminated. Switching sides. Kingslayer. New objective available. Payback. Enemy team eliminated. A victory.